to hear two cases today regarding what Americans can see on social media. The key question is whether states can limit how social media companies remove content on their platforms. ABC's Ike Jachi is in Washington. The nation's highest court hearing two arguments Monday about whether two laws passed in Republican-run states are constitutional, one from Florida and the other from Texas. The issue at hand started with the January 6th attack on the Capitol and the subsequent decision by Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Instagram and others to ban President Trump from their platforms. The Texas law prohibits social media companies from taking down political content based on someone's viewpoint, even if it's considered hate speech. The Florida law Law makes it illegal for tech companies to ban candidates on the ballot in the state from their social media sites. Supporters of these laws say social media platforms have been censoring users, especially those with conservative or religious views. The state has an interest, a First Amendment interest, in promoting, in ensuring the free dissemination of ideas. But tech companies are arguing they have a right under the First Amendment to set their own standards to prevent misinformation. It's about government, in this case Republican government, forcing a private platform to say something it doesn't want to say. It will be like the government going in to Chipotle and telling them that they have to serve hamburgers because people want hamburgers. Restaurants don't have an expressive right to exclude black people or Jewish people from their, from their restaurants um, because they want to make a point. Similarly, the, the platforms can't exclude people they don't like to make some obscure and not quite clear ex uh, expressive point. The Texas and Florida laws would allow tech companies to be sued for violations. Lawmakers in both states say they're trying to regulate the business actions of tech companies, not their freedom of speech. The justices are expected to rule on these cases by June. Ike Jachi, ABC News, Washington.